evening everybody yes you can see I'm not in my van I'm in my old bedroom at my parents at the moment um, and you can see there's a lot of stuff there's a blow up bed on the floor there's some bits that I got from Amazon there's boxes to store and sort things from and clear there's a pizza box loads of things there's the Ottoman if you've noticed the Ottomans there not in the van um, so why am I here at the moment well on Thursday I got a message saying that my mum had fallen over and hurt herself so I went straight from work and drove back to my parents and mum was taken to hospital and she's fractured her the head of a femur they put her straight into surgery uh, well, she's just come out of surgery just now, sorry, the day after. They kept her in overnight, booked her in for surgery. Uh, and they're doing a full hip replacement. So, it's, I think it's a four hour operation. So, they're currently doing that. So, I decided I couldn't work Friday, stayed here. I was waiting to see if mum was coming back before we found out in the x ray that she'd fractured her hip. So, for the next few days, I'll be staying at my parents I'm going to sleep on the floor bed for a few days van life will have to be on hold but the main thing is that she's okay the hip surgery hopefully will go well and hopefully there's a bit of a recovery time to it it might be a bit longer because she's 75 but I'm hoping yeah she'll recover and be back to herself in a few weeks but I'm going to stay here help around the house like whatever needs to be done cleaning cooking um, up, up and down the stairs with a walk in and all that sort of stuff so I'm going to stay around here uh, to help with all that but yeah the main thing mum is okay that's the, the main thing but rather than the van life stuff but while this is happening um, I've got to find out if I can do a couple of days at the beginning from home work wise extra other work and then go back to the normal job but I'll have to travel up in the morning travel back in the evening so it got me thinking while that's going on if I'm staying here and doing that what I will do is clear the van out completely of everything all my stuff take all the wood out all the plywood strip it bare and then at the end of every day at work drive home and start doing all the install so I'll be here at the front of the house I can start doing all that bits and still be here for the other stuff if mum needs help and stuff with all day to day bits so I've got the sound editing stuff that's all arrived I've got some insulation probably not enough I haven't got the glue yet but it does mean I can go up to work come back and start doing the sound deadening so I've got these these little things here that have arrived 80 of these which I can start putting around the van to stop noises we'll see how good this stuff is, I don't know and then I can get on with the insulation so I probably won't be sleeping in the van next week while I'm doing this it just makes sense to gut the van stay here for that week help mum with her recovery if she's okay to start getting around then I can look at staying out again but for the next couple of weeks dogs doing extremely um, I'm going to be here um, right yeah so at the same time oh, TV's gone off I'm going to be doing the van as well as being here I just won't be sleeping in it or cooking in it things like that but in a couple of weeks I should have it all insulated all soundproofed all lined everything put back in and it'll be in a better position than it was before this I've also potentially got the power situation sorted after all that's done and I took the Ottoman out. We'll do a video about that in the future. The Ottoman's gone. 
and I'm using stackable crates. These, I had loads of these, so I was going to come back end of the week and grab these, but obviously I came back sooner because of the thing with mum. But I've got five of these in the van. They're so high, stacked. I'm going to get some more, and it's literally changed everything. Like clothes are now in separate crates. It's going to be so much easier to manage. I can now put food in a crate, cooking in a plate in a in a crate, and divide it up into about probably twelve crates, and still have room. And the bed can go to the side. It could be a sleeping crate. There's going to be loads more room. So we'll, we'll go over that at another time. But I just want to do a quick update. It might be a week or so, two weeks before you get a proper video made by me. I've already scheduled out other videos that I made in the first week, so you will be seeing them over the course of the next couple of weeks, but there won't be anything new maybe for a couple of weeks, so there could be a pause. So I've tried to rearrange the schedules so they're like once a week, so you're not gonna notice too much that I'm not recording. But that's it, yeah, just wanted to say that. It's not for any attention or things like that, but just wanted to update everybody with the situation. There'll be a bit of a pause. The van will be get worked on, and the main thing is that mum's okay. Yeah, but thanks everybody for all your suggestions and kind words. There will be a video going over all these comments in the very near future, because you've all come up with brilliant ideas to help me. And yeah, just appreciate all your help and support. And yeah, we'll be in touch soon. Take care. And yeah, appreciate your friends, your family, your loved ones. Um, things happen very quick like that. And I'm grateful that I had the van because I could just jump straight in it and come back to my parents. Now, if there hadn't been a spare room for me to put stuff into, at least I could have still stepped in the van. So that's something I'm very grateful for, having the small van. I could have stepped in the van and parked outside the front of the house if there was no spare room. But there is still a spare room. But anyway, yeah. Appreciate it a lot. We'll speak soon. Take care.